I'm making the soup cookies. Hey everyone. In my last video, I reviewed this book, Most for the Money, Main Dishes, a Campbell's Soup Cookbook. I went through several of the recipes as I normally do in my book reviews, and there was one very special recipe that came up. Applesauce oatmeal cookies. Sounds delightful, sounds delicious. However, this is a canned soup cookbook, so this recipe has a can of cheddar cheese soup in it. This recipe left me with a lot of questions, the main one being why, but also is the soup in the cookies for flavor purposes or texture? purposes. Will the soup turn the cookies orange? How is this going to taste? A lot of you had the very same questions that I did and you made it known in the comments. So I'm going to make the cookies. We're going to go on this adventure together. So let's get started. Sift flour, baking powder, baking soda, and spices into a large bowl. Starts like any other cookie recipe. Flour, baking powder, and baking soda. And we have our spices, cinnamon, allspice, and cloves. So this is going to be a spicy cookie. Let's sift. Oh, thank you for noticing. Today I'm using a vintage charm bowl. So this set of bowls came out, I don't know how many years ago, less than 10. They're inspired by Pyrex designs. So this is inspired by Butterprint. There are a couple of other sets that came out that I never saw until recently and I went to try to buy them and now they're just as expensive as actual Pyrex. Mmm, add the soup. <laughs> I'm cutting this recipe in half. So I'm gonna have to take half of this soup out and I will freeze it for later use. I feel weird adding the soup at this stage. I feel weird adding the soup at any stage, but here we are. We are gonna weigh the soup. Oh, it's so orange, y'all. Look at that. It is so orange. There's no way these cookies are gonna be not orange. Oh, oh I don't know what I expected. I've either never cooked with this soup or I've not cooked with it in a very long time. Along with the soup, we're supposed to add sugar, applesauce, shortening, and egg. Kind of saving the soup for last. <laughs> egg, applesauce. It is unsweetened as well, so hopefully that's okay. Shortening. The smell is pleasant. I love applesauce. I love spicy cookies like this. Could be okay. Let's keep our hopes up. The reason I'm cutting this recipe in half is because it makes a whopping seven and a half dozen cookies. So even cutting it in half is gonna leave me with a lot of cookies. So really hope these are okay at least, if not good. All right, folks, the time has come. Here we are. It kind of looks like egg yolks, actually. It's the color of a really beautiful orangey yellow egg yolk. That is what I'm telling myself. Look at that beauty. Using electric mixer, beat at medium speed for two minutes. So here we go. Surprising development. It's not orange. It's not, it's not orange. Last three ingredients. We have some quick cooking oats. Let's go in. Controversial. We have some raisins. I would happen to like raisins. I know they're not for everyone. Honestly, are cheddar cheese soup cookies for everyone? We have yet to find out. And walnuts. Okay, fold this together. Very loose batter. I know slash hope that the oats are going to be enough to stiffen this up because otherwise that's it's very much like a cake batter. Okay, mm, I'm just trying to see if I messed up because it is not at all thick. There's no picture of these either, so I can't really tell you what they look like. What I can say, and something that makes me wonder a lot, the index is incorrect regarding these cookies. I went to look them up in the back and it says page 110. They're not on page 110, they're on page 117. So I'm kind of like, is this real? Is this a fake recipe that someone made up as filler and nobody actually thought to check and see if it works? It's so thick thin for cookies. I am gonna try this as is for like maybe a couple of cookies to see if I can even scoop it. But then I think I'm also gonna try putting it in the fridge for a little bit before I bake these off. Drop rounded teaspoonfuls on ungreased cookie sheet. Bake at 350 for 15 minutes. Oh, they're so loose. Uh, how? How do I do? I guess it's not so bad. And plus the scoops are very small. All right, in the oven for 15 minutes. Here they are. 
and they're not orange at all. Some initial thoughts before I take a taste. Refrigerating this dough did not make a difference. The consistency stayed the same, so I went ahead and just scooped them as is. These cookies were very small and they were able to hold their shape enough on the pan that they baked up okay. They didn't spread. I thought they were gonna just like spread all over the place. I will say I felt like I was scooping cookies forever. These are very small, so I had to scoop a lot of them, but then the bake time was 15 minutes. So it was a lot of scooping, a long bake time, this took a lot longer than I thought it would, and I can't imagine doing a full batch of these. As for the scent, initially it's kind of, it's just like a pleasant kind of cinnamon scent. But something I noticed, when I would open the oven to take them out, I would initially get like a nice whoosh of that sweet cinnamon scent, but then there would be like a little bit of a finishing note that was like, there is something off. Like there is something different about these. <laughs> I had to take these off the sheets quickly. I used an ungreased cookie sheet, like it said. I even have non-stick cookie sheets, so it should have been pretty easy to get these off. I left my first batch for too long and I had a heck of a time. You gotta get these off the baking sheets too sweet because they will stay there if you don't. With all that being said, I think I am ready to give these a taste. Here we go. Hmm. No soup. I taste no soup. I taste no cheese flavor. These are not very sweet. That's probably partly due to the fact that I used unsweetened applesauce. Texture is very much like a muffin. These do not have the same bite or heft as cookies. These taste like muffin tops. You know, when you're thinking cookie, a lot of times you're thinking like sweet, sugary. It's got that bite to it, that like denseness. They're pleasant, but I'm not gonna say like, this is a great dessert. I'm not gonna say it's healthy, but it tastes like a healthy cookie. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but these are not the sugar bombs that you would normally crave for dessert. I would deem these surprising in many ways, but not in the way that you think they will surprise you. <laughs> thank you for coming along on my cookie adventure. I recently hit 500 subscribers and thank you, thank you so much. I cannot believe there's over 500 of you who are interested in what I'm doing, but I'm happy to share this with you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button below. I post new content every week, including soup cookies. <laughs> Thanks again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.